I'm Doc V, and today I want to talk about last week's presidential debate between current President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. It was a mess. Both sides, it was, an, it was a mess. It was very negative on both sides. Negative on the Democrat side because um, President Biden sometimes looked like he didn't know where he was or he looked like he forgot the script, or it appeared that he didn't know what he was talking about, or he stumbled over his words, or he looked confused, and it was embarrassing for his supporters. On the other hand, Trump was forceful, strong, direct, looked like he was about it. But if you fact find after this discussion or after his display, you found out that most of what he was saying were untruths. They were lies. They were just things just coming out of his mouth. And people, his followers were like, yeah, yeah, Donald Trump, yeah, yeah. While Joe Biden, well, excuse me, while President Biden had some strong moments, but for the most part, he was just caught off guard. And it looked bad. Some feel that President Biden should step down and let someone else take the baton and finish out his next term. Try to defeat Donald Trump and then finish out the next term. And some people feel like they don't care if you have to wheel him in on a wheelchair. That's our candidate. That's our man. He's, he's done so much for this country. We want him in there. We don't care, we have to wheel him in and put him in front of a teleprompter and hold him up and give him medication to energize him. We want Donald Trump out of there. And on the other hand, the Republican followers, the far right, they want Donald Trump in there. They know that he's lied. They know that he has spread deception. They know that he has a reputation of degrading women. And the last thing that I did not understand at first, if you would ask me before this um, presidential debate, if I felt that Donald Trump was prejudiced or racist, I'd have said, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he is. I think he's more classist. If you don't make money or you're poor, you don't have any political power, then he doesn't think much of you. And that could be black, white, Hispanic, Asian, it doesn't matter. That's where I felt Donald Trump was. But when Donald Trump said, these immigrants are crossing United States lines and they're taking your black jobs, I jumped and I was like, well, wait a minute. Then he repeated it two or three times. They're coming to take your black jobs. And I said, okay, what is a black job? What is a black job? I know blacks that are doctors, lawyers, engineers, major franchise owners, entrepreneurs. What's a black job? What are you talking about? That's when it hit me. President Donald Trump is stuck back way before the Civil Rights Act of 1964, when there were black jobs. Before 1964, there were certain jobs that black men and women need not apply. Certain jobs that were felt undesirable and demeaning that blacks can do. You make a little bit of money and then stay out of our way. There were black jobs and the Civil Rights Act came in and they said no one can be discriminated against based on their color, based on their religious belief, their orientation, their ethnical background, can't discriminate anymore. The government put that into play in 1964 and the civil, with the Civil Rights Act. That ended all so-called black jobs. So why is Donald Trump saying these immigrants are coming across the U.S. borders and their former drug dealers, 
they're convicts, they're the low lowlifes of society, and they're coming over and they're taking your black jobs. They're taking your black jobs. Now, I already was not a Donald Trump fan because of, well, several reasons. You know, his, his morality or immorality, his lying, his self-centeredness, his idealistic attitude or behavior that it's all about him, it's all about him, what I can do, I, 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 me, me, me. And then to sit there and argue during a debate about who has the best golf swing. Yes, President Joe Biden partook in that also, but he's having some cognitive disabilities or some problems going on, and I really feel that he should step down and let someone else take the baton and run it on in. For some reason, I believe that citizens of America are going to think about the two candidates and about what the two parties stand for, and they're going to make the right decision. However, if they make the wrong decision, I believe that we still have the Lord God Almighty who is in control. And his decision and his coming in and moving things around and adjusting things is going to overpower everything. I believe this. So do I fear Donald Trump taking over the White House? No. Do I fear President O'Biden, who is exhibiting some acts of uh, dementia, a breakdown of his cognitive ability? Do I fear that? No. Because God spoke through a donkey. God put the power in Samson and gave him the power to kill a thousand men with the jawbone of a donkey. God used the man to wave the staff and opened up the Red Sea and flooded and destroyed the enemy. That's the kind of God that I believe in and that I'm working with. So he can work with a Biden or a Trump. And I believe that all things work together for the good for those that love the Lord and are the call according to his purpose. Period. I still do not like the idea of black job. I would rather be hated as a black man than deemed inferior. Repeat, I would rather be hated than deemed as inferior. Black job. What did Donald Trump mean by that? What is a black job? What is a black job? Come on, man. Come on, man. 1964, that was what, 80 years ago? Come on. Times have changed. Let's get with it. I'm Doc V. And I'll see you next time.